Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change PayPal account preferences. That's right, I use a business account for my, obviously, my business, and also I use a business account for my um, main job, but pays the bills, the one that, that's not my business. I use it for that too, so I was going through there recently, and I was like, well, what if I want to change my account preferences? What is account preferences on a business PayPal account? Well, it's to do with like you can update your time zone. You can update the language from English to some other language if you wanted to change it to that. And you can add a customer service message. Um, so if someone's disputing something in PayPal, it will be like the default um, automatic reply that you send out, which is, I think, great for cu um, customer service to have something pop up saying, hey, we know you're, you know, have an issue. We'll get back with you. Something like that. But I'm going to show you how to do this um, in this video. I also have some other PayPal um, videos I've done. I'll put the links down below so you can check them out. But before we get into this one, please hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell. It really does help out our channel, and we love you guys not to miss any new videos that come out every week. All right, let's get into this one. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is get into our PayPal account. So log into your PayPal account. I've already done that. So I'm on my business account here for my business. So what we're going to do here, once you get into the PayPal account, once you logged in, you want to go to the top. And this is a business account. I want to reiterate that, that you guys know this is a business PayPal account, not a personal one. So what we're going to do is go up to the top where your name is, where your profile image, and hover your mouse. And it will actually bring up the menu. And you want to go down to account settings and click on that. Then that should open up the account settings page. Sometimes it takes a minute to to go there. Even if your internet's fast, sometimes PayPal wants to take its time. So now we're in. So you want to be on, You'll actually you'll probably end up on account access, the account security area. We want to go to the next one down on the left menu. You want to go to account preferences. And that's the one we're focused on today. So we're going to click on that. So now we're under that. And like I was talking about, your preferred language, you can change this. So that's the first option on the list. So let's click update on the right hand side. And that's going to bring this up. So you click the down arrow and it will give you the choices they offer you on your PayPal account. So they only give me so many. Um, so I obviously want to keep it as English because that is my language. And then once you select the language, you just hit save. This language already selected. Of course, it's going to tell me that. So I'm not changing it. So I'm just going to OK, hit the X to the top. So that's how you change your preferred language. And then the next one down is the time zone. Manage your time zone. So we could update our time zone if we wanted to. You can just click on the update on the right, and then you're going to go select your time zone. So pick your time zone. I'm in Pacific Standard Time, so that would be my time zone. I'll just leave it there. But you can select one, and then you hit Save. So let's you select one, you'd always hit Save when you're done. And then you hit the X, because I'm not changing it. And then the one I was talking about, the customer service message. This will be shown to your customers when they try to file a case through us. So this is that automatic reply like I was talking about. So you hit update. This will take, this usually will take the most time if you don't have one set up already. I don't um, because I don't get enough business in my business to do that. This is what this accounts for. So the first part of it is to set up a message for your customers, add a personalized message that will be displayed to your customers when they try to file a case with us. So you can add something here. Um, you can mess with this yourself. And then you have your business info down here. You can edit that, which is usually your business name. This info will be displayed along with your customer service message. So if I hit edit, I don't know what it's going to change me to. Let's see what it takes me to. Oh, so it gives you all your main details of your business. So you can edit that. Um, so this will show you what you have, what will be shown to the person. You can change that if you want. I'm going to go back and we're not doing anything with that. So the business name is the same. My logo stays the same. If you scroll down, it says choose the info you'd like on display. We recommend both. So you can say customer service phone. I didn't put one in, so it's not provided, but you can check the box by clicking the box right there. Customer service email. So there's none of that right now because I don't have that on my, I don't have an email through this. It's because I don't use it for that that often. So this is something you can add if you have the, if you edit your info, you probably can change your password. I wonder if they offer that. We're going to go back. To, oh, right here. I want to see if they give you sales nana nah, i don't think it shows it um so if you have an email address in there you could probably mess with that so um, i'm not going to detail on that part in this video but you must have it so you want to hit save um or you can preview it so if you hit preview 
this is what they're going to show. We recommend that you get in touch with the seller directly, blah, blah, blah. So close preview so you can actually preview what it's going to look like and that. And if you're done, you can save and close. I'm not doing anything, so I'm just going to hit cancel. It's going to go back in a minute. It takes a minute for this part, too. I don't get that. But they do. But that's how that's basically what the account preferences on a pay, business PayPal account does for you. So we can go back to the account preferences and there they are. So we had the, the preferred language, the time zone, the customer service message. Account type is business. And you can close your account here too if you wanted to, but we're not closing my account. So <laughs> that's what it is. So you have an account type. But if you needed to close your account, you have to do that under account preferences. So that's how easy it is to do this, how to change your PayPal, change your PayPal account preferences. I can't believe I had a look at the title to read that, but it's in my head and I got a blank spot. So, hey, thanks for watching, everybody, um, and keep checking back every week for new videos. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.